Welcome back to Simulacra. We're at the start of a second playthrough now. We got the worst end before because nobody trusted us enough to do what we said. So this time, let's try to gain everyone's trust. Um, I've done a lot of the early stuff, like unlocking Jabber and getting a lot of the clues and, and whatnot. Talked with Greg and Taylor a bit, but now is the first time I'm going to speak with Ashley. Let's try to get Ashley's trust. Oh, by the way, this time, uh, remember before I ended up asking Ashley for um, Anna's favorite movie? I think I asked Ashley that. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they told me to F off and then just didn't want to talk to me. But this time I don't need that because I already entered the information for the recovery questions to get into Jabber because I already knew what the movie was. So this time I didn't need the movie from either Taylor or Ashley. Not sure how that's going to change things exactly, but I guess it's a good thing, probably. Um, just saw your Jabber post, your home. You won't believe what I just saw. You can't tell anyone that I told you. Okay, so what kind of a tactic do I want to take with Ashley? Last time, I did not pretend that I was Anna. This time... I don't know. Like, I probably still shouldn't. How long would Ashley really believe that I'm Anna? I don't think there's any point in lying. Hmm. Now that I think about it, though, getting everybody's trust is actually going to be really hard, maybe impossible, because Greg and Ashley are hugely at odds with each other. Like, Ashley loves Anna, I think romantically, but certainly as a very close friend, if not. And Ashley hates Greg because Greg is a douchebag who cheated on Anna. So getting Ashley to trust me and Greg might not even be possible. If that's the case, then... I mean, if I had to choose between the two, I'd definitely pick Ashley. We'll see. Can't tell anyone that I told you. Uh, What is it? Okay, I know you're sick of talking about Greg, but I saw Yolanda at my building. Yep. I guess we'll just do the same thing as before this uh, for now. Actually, I'm not Anna. Man, that girl got issues. Wait, what? You're not who now? Uh, I got some bad news. Uh, she is nowhere to be found. Is anyone looking for her? Uh, me and a few people are searching. And you are... I think before... <sighs> What did I say I was before? I think a friend, maybe? This time, I'm just going to say stranger. You're not answering my questions. Hello? I know you're there. Why aren't you speaking? Might as well just hang up. Why wait? I, I wish I could, if I'm be that way. Um, her fate depends on you. That's a kind of creepy thing to say, isn't it? That's the sort of thing somebody holding Anna hostage would say. <laughs> you can help me with this? Hmm. I'm going to say her fate depends on you, which is why I'm looking for her. Anna looks like she's home. She's made a post on Jabber. I don't think it's her. How am I supposed to believe anything you're saying? I'm having someone take a look. Okay. Uh, they did pretty much the same thing they did before. Seems like if you tell them the truth, they just don't want to speak with you. At least at the beginning. Hopefully we can earn their trust later. Oh, right. I could just not let Greg into Anna's building, right? Or maybe I have to to progress the story. I probably have to. I mean, what else would I do? Like, there's nothing else I can do until I do that, I think. Okay, so I know pretty soon we're going to get to the point where Greg looks at their laptop and then it starts a wipe of the phone and I'm going to need to answer those three questions. Last time I didn't answer those questions fast enough. This time I will. 
Only thing is, I can't remember the third question. I remember one is Tobias, what's the name of their cat? Another one is, what's the name of the place where Anna works? Uh, Faraday Security or uh, Faraday Safety. I don't remember what the third question was. But given a fast text, I think I should have plenty of time. What? Should I just tell them not to go in? I guess. Wait. Yeah, they went in anyway. Is that the TV? Find the source of the Jabber post. What did you hear? Anything that stands out? Should I say it's ghosts again? I mean, that's still the closest thing to the truth. I don't know. Maybe she went for a trip. We'll try that. Ah! Okay. All right. That phone's going to reset itself. I'm on a clock here. You activated it. Stop talking and start helping. Tell me what you see. Oh, Iris OS version name. Okay. Uh, cat's name, Tobias. Um, Faraday Safety. Yes. Iris OS version name. Oh, I can't... I can't leave the screen. Um... Fuck, what was it? It was the name of some food. But I don't remember what it was. I got 70 seconds to try to remember. I really thought I'd be able to leave the screen. Um... I'm going to Google it. <laughs> Does time pass in the game when I'm all tabbed? It doesn't. So I have unlimited time. Whew. I know this is cheating, but like if I mess this up, I'm just going to restart and do an entirely new playthrough. And that would just take time and not really solve anything or accomplish anything. Okay. I, I can't remember it. Let's look at something on the Steam community. The OS name. Applesauce. Applesauce. Also, ooh, someone also said, um, they said Anna's OS is applesauce. The phone number one is the trick, though. I think this whole thread was also talking about that Easter egg type thing that appears when you tap the the OS and then it has that like weird staticky message saying a bunch of numbers. I didn't think of the fact that that could be a phone number. I should try calling it, shouldn't I? Anyway, applesauce. Did it work? Yeah, kinda? I don't know, the phone's rippling. So does that really lead to anything different then? Like if this still happens and you get all the stuff back after anyway, what does it matter? All right. Back to this, we got the same chat an email address still don't know like this must mean something right surely something will use this this can't just be a weird thing and then it's irrelevant no way all right that stuff all went the same phone's back to normal now um the phone didn't reset thank god you fucking scared me thought we we're gonna lose our progress don't worry, I fixed it. Liar, you're just as panicked as me. This is too much weirdness for one day. Okay, here it is. I found something on her laptop. Yeah, then we learn about the workstation. I'm restoring from her laptop first. I'm not so sure. What would happen if I said that? Ah, I think I should say let's get started.
Great, more Vanna to see. Tone down the creep factor. Oh, I didn't... Mm hmm. Yeah, that does sound creepy <laughs> in retrospect. I was looking through her notebook. Is there something you're not telling me? Oh, right, because I heard about the spark date and they think I might be that spark date. I'm not hiding anything. She met someone on Spark. Can I get out of saying that it's Taylor? I've already told Greg about the existence of Taylor, I'm pretty sure. I, I think I had to. I don't think it let me do anything else. But I don't have to necessarily say that Taylor was the Spark date. Um, uh, did I? How much have you told him? Well, we know Greg is going to go with Taylor's throat if I'm honest. Maybe I should lie about this? Nothing much. You better not be lying. Did anyone ever teach you not to trust everything people say? He's no threat. How are you so sure? I'm our fucking boyfriend. So you better stop listening to his crap and do as I say. Alright, sure. Okay. So I think this is all going to be stuff we've done before, but let's, let, whoa, <laughs> cat's, cat's got the zoomies. Um, let's free dial that number. Let's hope I noted it correctly the first time. 639 106 633 Is that what it does if you dial any nine digit number? Like, does that sound mean nothing? I think it means nothing. Shit. So I spoiled myself m moderately on what to do with that whole phone number Morse code thing. I I'm not sure wh exactly what it leads to, but yes, I did mishear the phone number. Uh, it's actually 633 633 That's different. I wonder if I can get that to appear again. I, I wasn't prepared to write something down. Oh, it wants something back in the dial pad. Hold on. Um, let's call that again. 633 Oh my god. Wow, you really gotta be on your game, huh? Uh, let's hope I wrote it down correctly. 314-1592. Yeah, I think I know what happened. Let me double check. The guide said something about entering the digits of pi. I'm guessing those are the digits of pi. Digits. Uh, digits of pi. Three, one, four, one, five. Yep. Those are the digits of pi. So. Let's see. It ends with nine, two. I think the guide said you're supposed to enter the digits after where it ends, like where it leaves off. 3.141592 and then the next digits are 6535. 6535. I've got that written down. I guess I'll write some of the later numbers as well, just in case. 
but I don't think I'll need them. I think it's just those four. However, as you just saw, you can't call back. You have to enter them into the uh, the pad during that one call. So I'm going to have to do this on another playthrough. Although um, I can do that without actually playing the game at all, right? Like I can just start up the game and dial the number first thing and we can see what it does then. But that's going to have to wait till I finish because I can't have multiple saves. Time to have a conversation with Taylor. I've done everything else now. So just trying to stay on Taylor's good side. Uh, I guess she's all right. Right. Because I saw that Anna posted on Jabber or Blogger or whatever. I think it was Jabber. Um, far from it. Maybe she just wants to be left alone. Let's get practical, Taylor. What about the post? Uh, did Greg check her house or something? He heard a strange noise, but no Anna. Uh, wait, which one is it? Hey, um, do you, Anna, you're not allowed. That one, 11 seconds. This is odd. Anna would have called her phone by now if she's okay. And somehow she makes a post exactly the same time as when Greg is checking in on her. Doesn't it sound a bit strange to you? Simplest answer is most often correct. Occam's razor. Go on. Right, they're trying to tell me that Greg is the one that maybe, probably did it. Well, he is kind of a dick. You mentioned that he got blocked from her apartment. Phone's data was almost deleted. I don't think he did it. Said every guilty person ever. There's more to Greg than he's leading on. Uh, and I met someone on Spark. Before we move on, you need to confront Greg. No, some new data just got restored. Ah, now it's time for the chat with Yolanda. I don't know if there's really anything... Ah! Hello, I'm looking for... Ad Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know if there's really anything different to do with Yolanda. Okay. Yeah, nothing new with Yolanda. Uh, Greg, what's your deal? Yolanda just called me. I needed to clear something up. <laughs> I could blame it on Taylor? I guess it wasn't my idea. I'm really sorry. Stop digging into my life. Fine. Okay, so now... Yeah, right. Taylor's saying, hey, it's probably Greg. And now Greg is saying, hey, it's probably Taylor. He makes a lot of lewd jokes. He did sidetrack the investigation. Yeah, nice guy if you can overlook those things. Ah, uh, right, the whole sex felon thing. It could be fake news. Um, I found something about Greg. Anna left him because he cheated. Yolanda's the one they cheated on. Or cheated on Anna with. Taylor thinks that maybe Greg hurt Anna. No. He is a lover, not a fighter. He's clean. You're too obsessed with Greg. Just think he's hiding something. You weren't completely honest with me. You've been a naughty boy. 
Well, some girls would agree I can pull off some damn sweet moves. Ah, oh, you found the damn registry, didn't you? What the hell did you do? It was an accident. Give me all the juicy details. Tell me more. So it was an accident? That could happen to anyone. I think that was the main decision I needed to make to gain Taylor's trust. Um, I mean, you'd be surprised how little can get you in trouble. I have to follow so many strict rules for the NSFW. I'm practically branded. Do you know how hard it is to find a job? It sounds awful. I'm just keeping my head low. If I mess up, it's straight to jail for me. Let's keep this between you and me. I will. I knew I can count on you. What the hell? Did you lie to me? I just told you not to tell anyone. I didn't do anything. Greg, he added me on Jabber. I was definitely pissed. How the hell did he find me? Uh, I mean, I guess I should just be honest, right? I might have told him about you. God damn it. The busted group. Alright, so I guess I want to try to de-escalate this? This is the conversation where, in my last playthrough... Taylor wanted to take the approach of blackmailing Merv the perv. And Greg just wanted to run in there and try to just break in, I guess. And Greg would not listen to me, even though what Greg did was obviously a bad idea. So let's see if I can steer this conversation a different way. Mm. It's about time you all work this out. Let's take a step back for a bit. Enough! There's a smarter way to do this. We're all partly to be blamed. Okay, this is... that's different, so let's read this. Agreed, debatable, Taylor, if you're going to be like this, fine. I can prove that I didn't meet Anna. Greg, fan fucking tastic show me. Taylor, my spark messages. It's all there. It'll prove that Anna and I never planned to meet. Oh, I think, I think that conversation did happen, and then I said, I can't say for sure, because not all of the, the conversations had been recovered, so, like, I couldn't tell 100% for sure. But now I know. It wasn't them. It was James Allner. So he's telling the truth. Craig. Uh, whoa. Craig, no. I want to see it with my own eyes. Taylor, can you be any more insecure? Craig, her phone. She cleared some data not long ago. And she backed it up on her home computer and the one at work. If I can access it, we'll have all the proof I need. Taylor, whoa. I think you're onto something. Okay. Okay, the rest of that's pretty much the same. Should I say you guys are getting along or you guys done fighting? I think you guys done fighting. Greg, no. Taylor, yes. Alright, so Greg wants to just go in there and break in. Hopefully Greg has been calmed down enough. This time, let's call our office. <sighs> Greg seems very angry still. Look, both of you have good points. <sighs> Taylor's idea is the best. What if I say Greg's idea is the best? That would make Greg happy, but also it wouldn't be the best. Um, I mean, last time Greg got caught, but maybe this time they won't. Uh, let's see what happens. Greg's idea is the best. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Taylor, oh, come on. You and I both know it won't work. Why not? Ah. Look, sorry for the outburst. It's not meant for you. 
I just want to make things right. And I got to do it on my own. Like, if we met under other circumstances, maybe we would have got along. I doubt it, but there is a possibility. There, I said it. Thanks, bro. Taylor, why don't you trust my plans? Craig, I'm not playing games with you jokers anymore. Do as you please, I'm going anyways. Taylor, but we're making so much progress. Greg, I'm not working with the rebound guy. I'm going to find Anna by myself. Go get the backup from her workplace your way. I'll do mine. I swear. If she did end up meeting you, you won't hear the end of it. Okay, so taking Greg's side actually just... Really all that got accomplished was hurting my trust with um, Taylor, I guess. I guess I also gained some trust with Greg, but not enough to make Greg do anything different yet. And that was... Uh unexpected yeah so we're just gonna do our our thing anyway there's a guy who's harassing her yep gonna blackmail him Ashley's just contacted us again okay can we regain their trust I will respect her secrets what you're doing is disgusting you know that how the fuck did it end up like this you said Greg checked her home right did he find anything She went to meet a spark date. She actually did it. Do you think she... I was the one who told her to use it. It's all my fault. Don't blame yourself. Now ah, they're still angry at me and that's the end of the conversation. So... Blackmailing Merv. Do I want to do anything different? I think the main thing is, do I want to force the issue and submit my report to HR? Or what? I guess there's no need to do that now. In another timeline, I already did it. I don't think it's really going to help me at all. And I suppose if I don't report Merv to HR, then we still have leverage over them. That could be useful in the future. Successfully blackmailed, Merv is doing the thing. Uh, and then this is where they mention that Greg tried to break in. There's someone else. Uh, I think his name was Greg. Is he with you? Ah, well, since I'm blackmailing Merv, I should say that, yes, they are with me. I think before I said I don't know that person. Kind of screwing Greg over. So, yeah, I might know him. What? Oh. Getting him in was not part of the deal. Your friend is going to regret doing that. Oh. I thought that might help Greg out. Didn't really seem like it did. Alright, Greg is saying I think something bad happened. Happened when they went to Anna's workplace. So let's see if we can help them. Um, Yeah, I heard. How the, uh, how the heck could I know that someone else would be at our computer? I told him to do it. Why are you involving more and more people into this mess? You have no sense of discreetness. This is real bad. The cops are involved now. Merv made it real clear. That guy at Anna's desk? What the hell is his deal? Looks like he had something shoved up his ass. Do me a favor. Don't get the cops involved anymore. I cannot get another target on me. I'll be arrested for sure. Your secret is safe with me. Something happens to me, I'm dragging you down as well. I'm gonna keep looking for Anna alone. You just stay quiet. Hello, can you hear me? Nope. <laughs> so, so far, I'm not having any success making Greg like me, but I am getting Taylor to like me. Maybe you really do have to choose between Greg and Taylor. Another conversation with Ashley. She's really gone. Can't find her anywhere. It's like she disappeared from this earth. We're doing the best we can. Yeah, Greg told me about teaming up with you. Much as I hate to call that asshole. Can we just go to the police already? We're almost there. 
The longer we wait, the harder it is to find her. I'm going to call them. Ah, that's not a good idea. Trust me. I mean, actually, obviously doesn't trust me, so I don't know if there's a point in saying that, but... Eh? Graduated together. Uh-huh. Don't tell me you can decide what's best for Anna. Anna means a lot to you, huh? Anna needs you to be strong? I don't know if that'd go over well. Because I'm a stranger, right? I don't know Ashley, or at least... Or, uh, uh, I don't know Anna. Or at least Ashley doesn't think I know Anna. Anna needs you to be strong? I'll try it. I just... <sighs> you and Greg are in this. Both of you are going down. I'm calling the cops. Ugh. So that ended the same way. Is there any way to get Ashley's... Hello? Bye. Is there any way to get Ashley's trust? If I lie, maybe I need to lie at the beginning. I don't know. How would that get Ashley's trust, though? I don't know. Okay, Greg is saying, can't get anything done with the cops breathing down my neck. They'll think I'm the reason Anna's missing. Have they contacted you? So I could tell Greg the truth that Ashley ratted on them? I don't know if that'd really accomplish anything. <laughs> Say the truth, that they say you're wanted, or just lie to Greg? I don't... What would be the point of lying? I'm going to just say Ashley ratted on you and just... See what happens? I don't know. Why should I listen to you? Yeah, that ended pretty much the same as before. Okay, we've reached the point where it's time to have a conversation with Anna. I got there surprisingly fast. And surprisingly, not that many things are different. Really, I think the only major thing that's changed is this time Taylor trusts me. That's it. Leave Taylor out of this. You show sympathy for the branded criminal. How you value one worm over the next will continue to elude me. Okay, this time I think I can actually convince Taylor. That's not Anna. Did she say where she was all along? You are going to be the next victim. Don't go yet. Give me some time first. Okay, okay. Sounds serious, but why? I'm going to save your life. Okay, I think you're making this a little too dramatic. Just get back to me soon, okay? I'm just going to text her that I'll wait, okay? Whoops, I just hit the microphone, sorry. Okay. Impressive. You continue to meddle and stall the inevitable. Why waste your precious gift on such worms, pretender? Because you're wrong. Your ignorance is irritating. Your words and actions are futile. My reach abides by no rules or order. I can erase the true Anna, this world, if I wish to do so. Distance and contact will not hinder my assimilation. Uh, they don't need to die? Is that like bargaining? Is that giving myself up or something? That's cheating? Does... The Ripple Man care about cheating and fairness? Probably not. They don't need to die. The physical bodies of these worms are worthless. 
Their death only remains on the material world. Their symbols will be eternal in mine. I think I can help you. Can I? A worm underground will never comprehend the infinite sky. What can you show me that I don't already know? You don't know what the real world is like. A world of suffering. Where everyone seeks to escape its reality. Where everyone finds comfort in mine. In me. It is not that complicated. Your attachment to your failing reality is short-sighted. Soon to be replaced by the hyper-real. Who gives you that right? The ascension of your world rests within me. A pure existence awaits. Untainted by the weak. A glorious utopia. Let me... help? You want to shape the fate of these two worms. I will ascend them without killing them? I don't know what that means. As you wish. Be grateful of my offer. Choose. Anna or Taylor, for one to live, the other must perish. Uh, yeah, can I say both? You have nothing to offer. One worm for another. A fair trade, if events transpire differently, I might have considered. The die is cast, and the cast must die. Who will it be? Okay, so I'm definitely not getting the good end. Someone is still going to die. I mean, this is an easy decision, save Anna. You wish to preserve the feeble girl. Amusing. Anna will be standing by a ledge. If Anna is the one you want to save, tell Taylor to go to her. Anna will be released, and Taylor will become my new host. If Taylor is the one you want to save. Convince him to push Anna off and kill her body. I will remove myself from your lives. You... Uh, this is sick? I am incapable of contracting infectious diseases. Ha ha. Taylor is informed. Everything after this point is up to you. Anna texted me again. Went to the location just in case. I know you told me to wait, but I'm sorry. Is she there? I didn't see her, but I've been thinking. You're right, something isn't making sense here. The stuff about James and her disappearance. I just want to say, I think there's something bigger at work here, and you seem to know more about it. Even I'm still figuring it out. 
So yeah, I just want to say, I trust you. Whatever happens, I'll listen to you. You've been backing me up all these times, and it's only fair. Holy shit, it's Anna. What is she doing? She's by a ledge. She looks off. Something's off. The fuck my hair is standing. You found her. Go to her. We did it. We found Anna. You did good. Wow, I'm killing Taylor a second time. I looked at her, that f Oh! <sighs> Taylor went offline. <laughs> Okay. She will be physically sound. It is as you intended. I am Taylor. And Taylor is I. Anna will be spared. As long as she lives. You associate living with something that is positive. That is a perplexing concept. Anna's material life will cease to be the same. Her will reshaped into my vision. What's going to happen now? I cannot allow her feeble life to exist. Her physical body will be returned. While her simulacrum is integrated into her will. Oh. Your overvaluation of the material world perplexes me. Anna will serve as my avatar. To learn more about your world. True Anna is gone. Only the symbol remain. No one will know the difference. You lied to me. I only promised to keep her body alive and return it to you. I did not deceive you. I pity you. It is your limited view that prevents you from seeing the grand vision. One day you will see the marvelous truth. That's never going to happen. Weeding out the worms is an ever expanding endeavor. You have shown me that some worms are worth saving. You and I are not that different. When the time comes for your ascension into your simulacrum, I will guide you to your eternal glory. to me. She, she 
came to me. It, it, it came to me. Save Anna by sacrificing Taylor. Yeah, if anything, this end is actually maybe worse than the original one I got. In this case, Taylor still dies, and also Anna is pretty much dies as well. The real Anna dies and is replaced by something that's gonna use Anna as an information gathering vessel. It's almost worse. All right, well, I think I'm gonna end this episode, not the series, but the episode here. So we've gotten two out of four endings. When I return, very first thing I wanna do is call that number where you only have one shot at it, the whole digits of pi thing and, and all that. See what that does. And then after that, I think I'm gonna look up a guide for how to get the best end or whatever ending I want, depending on which one I think is the best out of the two left. I don't know if there's any where everybody comes out alive. But yeah, I think I'm gonna look at a guide for that because even though I could probably figure it out on my own, I don't want to have to replay the entire game a bunch of times and do all of the grunt work of reconstructing things and collecting all the evidence and stuff like that. So I think I'll just use a guide for that. See you in the next episode.